Hello and welcome to Daytona International Speedway for Global Challenge Action. It's the half eight race, 2030 GMT. I'm Dan. This is my first, well, it's my second proper stream. Did one yesterday, but I think I sorted out some of the problems I had yesterday. Time will tell, though. Got about four seconds to the warm up ends. Got a grid of one, two, five, five of the Kias, so it's not bad to have five Kias. Warm up is over. You'll need, you'll need to click the green grid button to be placed on the starting grid. Okay, so about to start racing. Got the warm up lap to go. Got 40 seconds to get on the grid. Starting, let's see where I'm starting. Second in class. Some green flag lap music. Same song that she used in the BTCC. That brand's hatches was used. I was a bit close there. Mauricio, sure that swerving on these cold tires doesn't help confidence because you know you're not known as the cleanest driver around. Oh, shots fired. So that was a bit of CC Mason. I've seen now. Cars just coming around turns three and four. Some of the. Oh, just, it doesn't make sense. Pace cars up there are supposed to be behind the pace car. Some of the Cadillac drivers aren't happy. Get ready. 
Going green. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Don't know what the start rules were there. I didn't want to get caught being in front of them, so we'll let them. Don't mean I'll be the first on the scene of this in the first corner. Some smite, but it looks like everyone seems to have got through okay, though. Oh, no. One Go coming on. back on the left, just avoided left him. Side, clear. And there's carnage here. You've got a slow car on the left. Go right. Go left. So that is a couple of the other caddies that have a problem. So it's Global Challenge race over 25 minutes. So it's quite a long race. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear. Wasn't sure what he was going to do there, so I thought I'd uh, take a little bit less risk. Me and uh, Domenico have already pulled out about five seconds on the chase and pack already in the first lap. Hello, welcome to my stream. I can't see the Twitch chat unfortunately, but I'm Dapper Man Dan, and this is one, my second stream. If you like what you see, give me a follow. Just gonna try and chase down Dominico. Currently second in class out of five. Come on, my guy. Thanks, Sean. Now, do I get past? So I know he's gonna have a draft. Still there. Clear. Give him a bit of room there. He's got to try and break away from this draft now. If while he's in the slipstream, it's going to be dangerous. Other guys have dropped only 10 seconds behind us already. So it looks like it's just me and Domenico fighting for the win. Sorry, Andre.
nowhere near the distance I need to be so it's from not to be in my slipstream. Hello, so I've got two viewers. Welcome to Dapper Man Dan. That's me. First night of stream properly. I did a little bit yesterday, but this is the 2030 Global Challenge race in the Kia. Still there. Clear. The way the race is shaping out so far, looks like it's just going to be a two car battle for the lead between myself in number 11 and Dominico in the number 9. The other three cars are about 13 seconds behind already. In the Kia glass. Car right. Stay on the left. Still there. Clear. I'm just trying out to uh, X Split, so I haven't actually got the Twitch chat at the moment, unfortunately, so I can't see if anyone's writing anything, but I hope you're enjoying the race. quite tense at the moment because so I'm needing the class but I know he's still on that slipstream. I wasn't expecting you to die by me in turn one either, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, something's happened to Domenico. Well, I don't know what's happened there. You're in the top ten. It might have been a slowdown for Domenico there. Maybe. Just got to keep on driving. Pressure's off a little bit now. So I've got 8 second gap back to Domenico, Tucker Fleming is 18 seconds back and Andre looking off 21 so the gaps are quite spread out already actually despite it only being on the 5th lap. Justin, did you say you weren't expecting Mauricio to dive bomb you in turn one?
you're watching this and haven't done iRacing before, go over to iRacing.com and see the latest offers. Have you not raced with him before? I can't hear you, so... Yeah, I was putting his nose uh, between me and the bus stop also. Got enough to... got a... a slowdown. I was just saying, Justin, you must never race with him before. No, he tried, yeah, he, he drove it up into that corner pretty good, and between me and the grass, and we made contact. Then he braked really hard going to, I'm going to call it turn two. Try and take the really bus stop a bit steady now, so I don't really want to be giving away the old uh, instant points. I, mean, but I figured he drove it that hard in turn one, why wouldn't he drive it that hard in this turn? I'll take just the one at the moment. Gap out to 10.6 seconds to second place. Just under 12 minutes to go in this Global Challenge race. Well, that sucked. The moment I'm really just managing this race, I've got quite a big gap. So I'm not under pressure, I just need to hit my marks and keep it consistent, really. Hello, welcome to my stream. It's Dapperman Dan here. 
Currently doing a 2030 Global Challenge race. I'm in the Kia class. Currently first in class. We're winning the class by about 13 seconds at the moment. So just really managing the race to the end. We've got about 10 minutes to go. I haven't actually got the full version of XSplit, so I can't see the Twitch chat, unfortunately. But after the race, I'll, I'll cover me the comments. If you're liking what you see, of course, don't remember to hit that follow button. And if you're looking at this and wondering what this is, this is iRacing.com, probably one of the most realistic, not the most realistic, online racing simulation experience. If you go over to iRacing.com, you'll see what the latest deals and offers are to get you on the track, just like I am here. I believe this is the top split race as there is more than the number of cars you can get on the grid it means it puts a split on so this race probably split twice and this is top split Cadillac leaders are coming pretty soon and looks like they're racing quite close together as well you got Antonio and Juan I think that's how you pronounce that racing together they are catching up pretty quickly so that's going to be something to keep an eye on. Don't really want to get in their way if they're battling. I've not got anything to lose. Well, I have got something to lose. I've got the lead to lose. But as far as time goes, I can afford to lose a couple of seconds to let them pass safely. I've got 14 seconds on Domenico, who at the start of the race, me and Domenico had quite a good little battle. But you got to slow down coming out of the bus stop. So what I've got to try and do in the rest of this race is Thank try you, not to get a slow down there myself. Or that could bring the race right back open again. I go down there through the bus stop. Hopefully these Cadillacs are going to catch me on the straight and not through the infield. That'll be the best thing. I think it's going to be the infield, you know, unfortunately. Yep, yeah, they're going to catch you on the infield. Giving you room down the inside. Clear. Yep. Thank you. Hey, hey. What the fuck are you doing, man? I saw that.
Looks like women John have had some problems with Dominico. He's dropped that down now to 16 seconds back. Yeah, slower cars, pick a lane. Any lane, but pick one. Sounds like he may have gone over on a minute braking zone or something. Four and a half minutes to go of this 25 minute race, so probably got three more laps to go. Got John and Wim catching me pretty quickly. I'm going to stick to the outside. I hope they catch me, but don't think they might not get me before the bus stop, you know? It's a bit close, though. Nope, it's not going to catch you before the bus stop. Looks like they're fighting pretty hard. But I don't really want to be interrupting that battle. Got 17 second lead on Domenico. Two laps to go. Tire's starting to feel a little warm now, but no, no more than you probably would expect for this sort of stage in the race. Place Caddy is going to be catching me pretty soon as well. One minute twenty four, so the next time across the line should be the last lap, hopefully. Yeah, pretty sure it will be the last lap, you know. So we get fourteen laps in. Just the one caddy so we can go around my outside this time. Stick to the inside. Right side. Clear on the right. Eighteen and a half second lead to the second place car, and there we go. So this is the start of the last lap.
You have about five laps of fuel left. So, coming down the back straight now. Just got the bus stop to go, really, and then that will be what hopefully will be a win for me. Should be a very good start to the. Well, a very good end to the I Racing week. Obviously, at midnight it switches over to the new track. I don't even know what the new track is next week. But this is quite a key bit now. Get this right. Clip, clip, clip. That's it. Four clips, Sam. Um, that's it. So, coming around to turn three and four now. Gap to Dominico, 18.8 seconds. That's 19 seconds now. Might only be 20 seconds by the end of the uh, end of this race. But as we are now, gonna cross the start finish line. Woohoo! That's it, P1. So that's a win for us in the Kia class of the Global There's Challenge. The it's over. And it's about 20 oh, second gap really back to really Domenico. Well. Yeah, it came to me. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to race with Domenico much. He, at the start we did until he got the slow down. And then he just seemed to drop back a bit from there, but... Get a little battle with Domenico to start with. But the end result is the Team EOR Tin Top yeah, Shot Sponsor Machine has seconds. come out with the victory. It took an odd angle into this turn right here, and then I had to spin it trying to avoid it. And, well, I lost all kinds of time when I got down in that grass. Fastest lap, a 151.047 yeah, on lap 4. That's one of the laps I was drafted in Dominico. Lap times are pretty consistent. 51s and 52s. In the start, I think we would have had a four-way run. Fact, very, very right consistent lap way. times. You got 52, 3, 51-6, 51-0, 52-0, 51-4, 51-3, 51-9, 51-5, 51-6, 52-0, 52-1, 51-7. So I'm really happy with that. Very consistent. I took the victory. So overall, that is a very, very good race. And if you're watching the stream, I hope you enjoyed it. You have a quick look now. At the comments. Yeah, a good race, man. See. Nice and clean. Come out with the victory and only one instant point as well, so that's a, another good thing. 1x, so that should be pretty helpful with the old safety rating. appeared.